Hello Internet, today I'm going to teach you how to make non-destructive glossy text uh, effect in Photoshop. And by non-destructive, I mean you can just edit the text even though it has the glossy effect. So let's just recreate this right now. Go File, New, and then just pick whatever um, layout you want, whatever size. We're just going to go 1920 by 1080 and then uh, this works best with good colors. So what we're gonna do, uh, what I did there is I shift, press shift F5 on your keyboard and then go to color option. And then what I like to do is I go to this site, flaturicolors.com is gonna look like this in the home page. I'm gonna link this in the description, but basically this is where I get uh, really nice colors for my uh, whatever I make nowadays. Uh, this is for designers like me who don't really know how to make their own colors. So I'll just click on any of these. Maybe go to this one. I want like a nice dark background. So something like midnight blue works well. All you gotta do is just click it. Click copy. And then go back here. Um, go to this hex editor here below. And then you just paste that. And automatically it'll pick up the color press ok twice and there you go it doesn't actually look the same as this one but that's fine it really doesn't matter uh, now let's press oh no shoot move too fast there go to the uh, text tool right here horizontal type tool that's the T and this menu here on the left side and then you click anywhere in the board and then the, that'll give you that you just press type whatever you want I'll just type hello for the sake of uniformity with the last one we made and now uh, this is a bit too small so what I what I do is I press control T on the keyboard and that allows me to resize it and while I resize it pro tip for everyone uh, hold down shift shift and alt and then resize it using the um, the corners not these the this corner maybe is the best optimized spot to resize it while keeping the aspect ratio because if you don't press down shift and alt it's just gonna do this and you don't want that you don't want that all right keep it locked to its aspect ratio and then center it i have snapping on so that's easy now next thing we're gonna do um we're going to go to stroke this is actually optional but this will make your text look a lot better look a lot more full to be honest especially with this effect so what i do is well let's just do that again i go down to effects down here at the bottom click that and then i hit stroke in this menu oh shoot didn't mean to do that that's fine it'll pop up here and then you press stroke and then it's not gonna look like this if you haven't done something like this yet so pay attention to what i do i just go to color first click that and then choose whatever color you want be it if you want to go here and you want to find a nice color, flatuicolors.com, maybe let's try, oh, I don't know. This one looks kind of cool. All right, so we copy that, and then we get it here, paste it here. There you go. And then you click OK. And you're done with the text right now. So <clears throat> next thing I want to do is go back down here and then press new layer. This is this, this little icon here. Hopefully you can see that. All right, that'll create a new blank layer above your text. And now uh, we're going to go to this menu back and then press this one. This is the rectangular marquee tool. You can also press M on your keyboard if you fancy doing it that way. But basically uh, what we're going to do here right now is we're going to create a little rectangle shape lengthwise of the text make sure it fills the whole thing maybe even give it a little bit of a gap somewhere so that you'll know that it'll fill the whole thing now while we're still in this mode we're gonna go inside the square that we just made rectangle or whatever you call it and then right click and then go down to fill you're gonna go down to fill again and you're gonna pick color again and now what you're gonna do your mouse is automatically gonna turn into an eyedropper tool Make sure you don't press caps lock on your keyboard or else it's going to look like this. But honestly, they both just do the same effect. Caps lock just changes the icon somehow. I don't know. Now you click on your text color because this is how you get a uniform gloss color. Now click on the text color. Make sure it's this one. You grab it where it is and then you move northwest. All right. 
it can be however far you want however near you want it it won't matter um now i think that's fine make it oh, just make sure it's shinier make sure it's a lighter color than the text you have you can just do it your way but i feel like i feel this with well, this way for me works the best press ok twice again and that is gonna be your gloss actually but it doesn't look like a gloss yet so what we're gonna do now very important step before we continue we're gonna right click this and then we're gonna turn it into a smart object that's the button right here convert to smart object and that's crucial because this is non-destructive editing we want to be able to um, restore anything to whatever it was at some point and converting this to smart object really helps with that um, I don't know how to explain it well, but that's how what it does next um, now that we're done with that we're gonna go up to the uh, Taskbar up here. I don't know if, uh, Toolbar rather yeah toolbar then you go to filter Now you go down to blur and then you go down here to Gaussian blur Hard to miss this one Gosh, um, All right, that's it. That's fine. It's not that's gonna be the gloss and we'll maybe uh edit this to go down to 35 32 it really doesn't matter at this point it's fine now you'll see that it overlaps everything that's very simple to fix final step right click the layer and then create clipping mask boom it just pretty much inserted itself inside the text and um now it's fine now it looks good but what if say you want to adjust the blur effect that's where the advantages of converting this whole thing to a smart layer in the first place comes into full effect. You can just drop down, click this drop down icon over here, and you have smart filters. You can easily just turn off the smart filter if you, as much as you want. And you can also just go to Gaussian Blur, double click that, and it'll take you right back to the blur effect. And you can go uh, make maybe increase the blur if you want, or make it smaller if you do fancy that. I'm actually going to increase the blur even. All right, maybe 45 or something like 40 will be fine. Press OK, and that's that's that. Look at that. Even from afar, the gloss is very uh, what do you call it? Obvious. Here's here's that thing without the gloss. World of difference right there. And like I said, non-destructive editing. So if you try to edit your text, there we go just keeps it just keeps it the way it is now say for example uh, your text goes overlaps the whole thing this is just for example here um, what well, very simple fix too. just lengthen the whole thing itself lengthen the triangle or uh, no the rectangle what am I saying and that just fixes everything um, that's what I use here specifically this is a good way to apply it I'm a Pokemon youtuber in my other life and then I use it here specifically because this is a text that I want to be able to edit as much as I can because I have several episodes for different series so I can maybe even put it up to part 44 or something and the gloss is still there that's the gloss with and without and same here for the title of the game that I'm playing with and without so that's uh good application right there if you're looking for something to apply it to that's basically it so um, leave a like if this you found this useful subscribe if you want to see more or if you want to watch me play Pokemon and I'll see you soon bye bye